This tutorial is going to show you how to make a portfolio using a website called Pathbright. In order to do this, you're going to need a few things. First, gather up all of your portfolio artifacts. These could be digital files like PDFs, photos, documents, or they could be paper things, licenses you might need to scan, or handwritten notes. If your artifacts are in paper format, you are going to need a scanner or a scanner app. I will link to a few tutorials for a scanner app. If you need to use that resource, you can find that down below. The other thing that you're going to need is an email address. This is to sign up for Pathbright. The first thing you need to do in order to get your portfolio started is make sure that everything has been digitized. I tend to do this first and then put everything into a folder. You can see that I have a folder on my desktop named Portfolio Items, and if I click it, I have everything in there. I have a video, I have a photograph, I have a text document, uh, some PDFs, even a PowerPoint presentation. You can add all sorts of files to your portfolio, but it's up to your instructor to give you the list for what they are looking for. After you have gathered everything up and put it into an easily found folder on your computer, you are going to need to go to www.pathbright.com. On this site, you will find a button that says log in on the top right hand side, and you can go ahead and click on that. It will give you options to either sign in if you already have an account, or it will give you three options to log in and create an account. You can use your Facebook, you can use your Google, or if you want to use your Detroit Mercy email address, you can click sign up here and it will take you to a place where you can sign up with an email address and a password. Since I already have an account, I'm just going to simply log in. You can see that I used my Detroit Mercy username and I have a password that's actually different than my email password and I click sign in now and it will start me off at the portfolio creation site. Pathbright allows you to create more than one portfolio. To get started on creating your first portfolio you can use this button on the right hand side that says create portfolio. After you click that it gives you a couple of options. You can simply just create your own personal portfolio or if you're working on a collaborative portfolio you can join using a code. You'll know if you have a code for this collaborative portfolio because it will have been emailed to you. If you don't have anything like that or it sounds strange and unfamiliar, just click the Create New Portfolio button to make your own portfolio. You're going to give your portfolio a title. And if you want, you can give it a subtitle or a description of it. After you've filled those in, go ahead and click Next. When you log in to Pathbright and create your portfolio, you're going to see a workspace. You will see the title and the description that you just created. There's a spot to drag and drop files. There's an example portfolio down at the bottom for you to look at and reference. And there's also a way, a control panel on the right hand side that allows you to change the styles and settings and to add work. The first thing that we are going to do is upload these files that we have selected. To do that, I'm going to go back to my portfolio items folder that I created on my desktop. I'm going to select the pieces that I want to add and I'm going to simply just drag and drop them here. This is the easiest way. So the first thing I'm going to put in is my headshot. You can see that after I dragged it over, it gave me a nice little yellow thing saying it's ready to start. I'm going to click on that and it, it will import my headshot. Ooh, that's really huge. All right, so there's this enormous uh, headshot of me. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to click save. There's my headshot. I'm going to now add in another one. Even though the drag and drop section is gone, you should still be able to drag and drop things. So here is my headshot. Now here's my bio. You don't have to have that specific little 
uh, place to drag and drop it. You can just kind of drop it anywhere onto this page and it'll automatically start uploading it. Depending on how large your files are, it may take some time for them to load, especially if you're on a slower connection. You don't need to drag and drop it a bunch of times, just do it once and let it, let it upload. The other way for you to upload files is to use the right hand side pane. I find the drag and drop way to be the easiest because I can just put a bunch in at once, let them upload, come back and reorganize. But if you want to be a little bit more specific, uh, for example, if you have a web link that you want to add in, you can click on the web link, you can add it, you can hit grab and it's going to give you a web page preview and then add that link to your portfolio. It automatically fills in the title and the description, so I would double check that to make sure that it's correct. Pathbrite also gives you different options to go through Khan Academy, you can add your Instagram, you can reference your Dropbox folder. If you have YouTube videos you want to add, you can add those in as well. There's quite a few different um, external import services that you can use here. So just look at your instructor's item and artifact list and go from there. I'm going to finish adding in the rest of my portfolio items using the drag and drop. Um, so I'm going to go over into my file and I'm going to select all of the things that I did not yet add and I'm going to drag and drop those in going to take a little bit of time to put those in and generate a preview, but once this is done, you can go ahead and we can start organizing your portfolio. It took a while for me to get everything uploaded. Some of my files were pretty big, so I just decided to pause the recording and come back after they had finished uploading. Don't be concerned or surprised if some of your larger files, like a MP4 or an extremely large PowerPoint presentation, take a little bit of time. It'll eventually upload if you just leave it on the page, and then after everything's up and running, you can go ahead and organize it and change the style. Your instructor may have a specific organization scheme that they want, um, that, they can, that they've asked for in their assignment. Otherwise, you can just click on the Style and Settings tab right here and change different things. You can change the layout automatically by clicking on their four options and you can also drag and drop by mousing over the assignment you want to move and waiting for the arrow to turn the mouse to turn into a four pointed arrow clicking it and holding on that mouse button and dragging it into a place that you think works better to change the size of them and make one more prominent than the other you can mouse over the divisions until you see that ellipsis or the vertical ellipsis three buttons and you can use that to change the um, to change the size and the width of things as well. The other thing that you can do is change your theme. You can change it from a light theme, a dark theme, or a resume theme where there's a lot less clutter on the page. And you can also categorize things. If some instructors do want categories for things, like um, so an example would be work samples, personal biography pieces, um, you can assign categories and you can actually edit the categories. So for example, there are some custom categories. You can prep for your dream job. You can do a college application. In general, I find that I use custom the most for these. So, um, for example, I could do biography. I could do work samples. And then I can do video uploads. When you are done creating your categories, go ahead and click Save. And then you can assign categories. In order to assign things to a category, you would click on the category name. So, for example, my biography and my headshot are both part of the biography category. I click biography, I look for my headshot, I click the plus, and then I'm going to look for the bio, I'm going to click the plus. Uh, to assign things to work samples, I can uh, click the evaluation checklist, I can click my PowerPoint, and I can click my notes that I created, and I only have one video upload, so I'm just going to click that. I don't know if you notice, but you can assign things to multiple categories as well.
And the last two things are um, portfolio settings. You can decide whether they are private or public, whether they belong to an institution, what industry they're in, whether people can comment on them. And you can actually allow people to download things from your portfolio. This is another thing that your instructor may ask for. Finally, there are contact links. So if you want to let people have multiple ways to contact you, um, you can just create that. So you can add your email, um, phone number, website, all of your social media accounts can also be linked in there. When you are finished with your portfolio style and settings, you're going to click Done Editing. You're going to say whatever industry it is. So in my case, this is Education. I'm going to click Done. It's going to ask you to update your profile. It does ask you to put a first and last name in. You don't have to put a picture if you don't want to. And now you can give yourself a custom URL. I'm not sure if it's going to let me do Elizabeth, but we'll try that. So I'm just going to use my UD Mercy email. Okay, so now my portfolio is finished. You can see my contact information up at the right hand side. You can see there's some category navigation over on the left hand side. So for example, if my instructor only wants to look at my biography category, they would click biography and both pieces of that would show up. My work samples would show up and my video uploads would show up. If something's not in a category like my Google link, then they'll have to see it in all. The last thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to share this portfolio with your instructor. Typically instructors who are asking for digital portfolios want it done by a link. Uh, the easiest way that I've seen instructors collect this and the most common way is asking for you to submit a link via Blackboard. What you will do for this particular way of turning your portfolio in is click on the share button on the right hand side and then you're going to copy and share this access link down here. You can just click the copy link button and you'll see when it's copied. You know, if you hit the control C, control V, copy paste, this is the copy of the copy paste. After that, I'm going to navigate to Blackboard and I'm going to log in. I'm going to go then select the class where I'm going to submit it. And since I'm an instructor, I'm going to flip to student view. Navigate to wherever it is your instructor has you turn in assignments. So in this case, I have an assignments tab in this class and find the assignment submission link. In this case, it's pretty simple. It's the portfolio submission and the instructions say that you need to submit it directly into the submission text box. To find that, you're going to click on portfolio submission or whatever it is that your instructor has created. And there's going to be a part that says text submission and then write submission. Click on write submission, paste the link into that box and hit submit. What you'll see is simply the link that your instructor can then copy and paste into their web browser and pull up your portfolio. If you have any questions about this, please do first ask your instructor, especially if it relates to the specifics of the assignment, like what do I post or how do I organize it? Um, and they will let you know if they need to contact us for additional help.